Welcome to English and German Diction for Singers. I am Amanda Johnson. Today's video has to do with the Ich laut. If you are someone who has struggled with this sound, look no further. How do we make an Ich laut? How do we make sure that it is consistent? Most important is that the tongue is in the correct position. Namely, it has to be as high as closed I or E. As you might remember from my other videos, closed I is what I call 100% arch of the tongue. It goes all the way without turning into a consonant. E, E. That is how high the tongue is. So step one, tongue is an E before you even make a sound. Step two, the air starts at the alveolar ridge. Right here. How can we find this spot? If you say a word like human and elongate the H, human, Hugo, you can feel that the air is starting at the alveolar ridge. That is where we want to feel it. When your tongue is in 100%, it creates a narrow passageway that the air can first collect and then quickly move through. This is how we make the Ichlau. It starts at the alveolar ridge, and as you can tell, there isn't much distance to travel between here and here. It just flicks forward. From the front. Where do you feel the air? It is about the width of a finger. And it's centered behind your own front teeth. It is narrow, focused. It feels thin, clean, pristine. You shouldn't feel any air on the sides of your mouth. So we shouldn't get a sound like shh, shh. If I let the air fall to the sides, that's what we get. Shh. That is not it. It shouldn't settle on the lower jaw. Shh almost sounds like a whistle, right? That is not it. We shouldn't have it be in the middle of the mouth or it gets a phlegm quality to it. That also is not it. Instead, we want the tongue to be high 100% first, then we initiate the air. That is it. That's your Ich lau. So why is this so difficult? I think it's only difficult because most of the time, the tongue is not high enough. In fact, there aren't any words in German where CH would be preceded by a closed I. So you will not encounter a word where you actually say E followed by an Ich laut. All of the other vowels are different. Therefore, it's necessary to move the tongue after you have made the vowel. So let's practice this. It's easier to see in the context of words. So for example, if we take the word ich, 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 you can see that my tongue is moving after the vowel. It's moving towards you. Ich. Ich. This is because the vowel that precedes CH when we have a word like ich or mich, dich, any of these sounds, is actually a vowel that is in between closed eye and open eye. If you are unsure of this sound, please watch my other video under the playlist phonemes to master this sound. This is a hybrid vowel that is in between closed eye, e, and i, open eye. E, i, and then we have e, 
And this middle vowel is what we use when we pronounce a word, e. So as you can see from my tongue, right a split second before I form the ichlau itself, my tongue has moved all the way to 100%. Let's try it again. See if you can see my tongue moving. E. It's subtle, but it's there. So let's take another word. Let's take a word where CH is preceded by the epsilon. So for example, echt, echt. You see how my tongue moves? Echt, echt, before it does the T. Möchte, möchte. It's moving from the Ö to the möchte. How about when we have a consonant? So for example, the word milch, milch. Now the sound right before the ichlaut is the consonant itself, the L. So from the side, it'll look like this. When my tongue comes down, it arches into E, even though we never actually say E. How about from the side, we have R first. That is the key. The tongue has to be in E, even though you don't say E. The air has to start forward on the alveolar ridge for the sound to be focused and thin in nature. If you still struggle with this sound, here is a great exercise. Take a German word that is challenging and finish it with an English word that starts with H followed by U. So for example, the word lächeln. This is a challenging word. What we can do is form a word that is half German, half English. Lächeln. Lächeln. At the moment of the Ichlau, we form the word human. Same motion. Le human. Then we wean ourselves off the rest of the word. Le hu. Then we stop at the H. Le We still pretend we're going to say human. Le Now you formed your Ichlau. Check with yourself, make sure that the tongue is indeed high enough, and then you can finish the word. Lesson. Another important point when forming the ishlaut is that the lips are not involved. You never want to round the lips to finish the ishlaut. For example, ish, ish, esh, sh. Never involved at all. It stays flat, almost like a poker face. Don't forget to check out my other playlist entitled Exercises for more opportunities to practice the Ichlaut.